Sorry guys, I'm late to the party. Oh, most wonderful! Do you guys need of any uh, anything from behind the bar before I get up on stage to conduct our fun eventness of this evening's? No, no, not at all, Inquisitor. Most wonderful. You guys have all met Johan, our ATM banker, yes? Well, I have. Oh, most wonderful. I have had a chat with him for a couple of days now, and he is uh, on his very best behavior for the evening. Now, his monkey is what keeps him in check. As well as the otters behind him. We have trained the otters to go for the Achilles tendon. That way, well... He used to behave, but now he can't move. I have to drag him when he has to use the restroom. Check. One. Check. Check. Whew. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Oh, Empress, I have also brought you a chair a little bit closer to uh, to uh, the, the stage over here. I brought you a chair up a little bit, rearranged them a little bit. Not a problem. I will be right back. I forgot one thing for part of Skid. This is going to be a blast. Hey guys, close your eyes. No seeing the events to come too early, you know? Close them. Close them good. You closed them. Good. Ouch. Whoops. All right, I lived. I live. Okay. All right, sorry, folks. Y'all done already? Yep. Wow. That was quick. Okay. 
blindfold. Hopefully I don't run into anything. My apologies. Good. Is everybody back from their thoughts? Yes, absolutely. Oh, perfect. I need two volunteers. One man and one female. Yes? Uh, let's go with um, Lady... Oh, yes. Lady Gita, please come to this side over here. You good, sir. Um, the knight, I believe. Yes, the knight. Will you come to this side? On, onto the stage, please. This is part of my performances. Yes. Uh, yes, he is the knight. Lady uh, Gita, please, uh, this side, please. Oh, okay. We will... We will do so when she comes back. <laughs> Oops. That was a very hey, I wanted to be the worst you have heard. You see. Uh, Lady uh, Gida and uh, the knight, please come. The knight on this side, please, facing this way. Lady Gida, uh, this side, facing that way. The, the gentleman over there, please. All right. The knight, you uh, you uh, take care. You, you do you. And, and I... Um, Lady Gita, I, I speak for you. So you just stand there and act out what I say. Hehe. <laughs> Hello, man. Will you, will you take me to the Tenovian city? Psst. You're supposed to say okay. You're supposed to say, okay, you'll take her to the Tenovian city. We're acting out a play. And you guys don't know the script. Me neither. I make it up as I go. Okay. Oh, that is most wonderful. Thank you, kind sir. Crap. Why is my accent coming through? Um... Audience, you are King Ragnar. <laughs> Will you give me a crisis that I can have uh, Miss Gita say as part of her performance? The Rex is evade. Yes, that's a good one. Sir, what is your name? Oh, pleased to meet you, Edward Squidman. Um, you do not have to stand so far away. I do not bite. Uh, 
Thank you. I did not wish for the Perlovia to jump out and bite me while you are too far away smelling the roses. Now, off we go. I must attend to the party. There's a Rex! Save me, Squid Man! Save me! Okay. Pull out your sword and save me! Sheesh. <laughs> now chop the air towards the audience to give them the illusion of killing it. But don't break the tavern. Oh, thank you. You're my hero. Thank you. Let us go on. Um, I need, I need another, another person from the audience who wishes to volunteer. I need a man. So it's one of you two. All right, now I must whisper something to you that you need to know as part of the play that they cannot know. So telepathically, I'll go get you a note. Okay, note in here. I was just preparing to punch in the air again. Uh, come on stage after you have read your note and are ready to proceed. Hello. We are on our way to the uh, Yanravitz Empire for the party. Oh good, would you care to join me and this man, Edward Squidman, and our journeys to the Russian Empire? You say his name is... Uh, yes, he is uh, Edward Squidman, and he saved me from Big Rex. Oh? Who, how do you know? Stick of bushes. Uh, is, uh, what? <laughs> the bushes kept picking me up. Shh, I'm not here. I mean, yes. Uh, clearly, not this Edward Squidman. This Edward Squidman has black pants, and you are wearing red pants. Oh, that is a quite an accusation. Um, what uh, what does this other person do? What is he a good man or a bad man? Well, if he is lying to be in your presence, I think he is bad man. Perhaps just to kidnap you. <gasps> Protect me. 
Lady Kida, step to the back so you're out of the way. Okay, punch him out. Okay, pretend. Part of skit. Trust me. Wow, you did. He he went flying back. Thank you. Let us run along. You guys got to go up and down for horse rides? Ah, yes, we have made it. Let us rush inside and see the Russians. <laughs> Thank you, three. V <clears throat> My voice is weird. <coughs> Group hug. All right. Thank you very much. It was a very great performance. Please bow before our last remaining two audience members. And if you would please see me at the bar, I will collect your payments for entertaining me in this fun skit. I am lost. Commodore Lestrange. That one is broken. Your payment is in there. No, I did not. Lady Gita. Your payment is in there. <coughs> the Night Batman, your payment is in here. Over here. You must go between the two chairs. Most wonderful. I hereby as Inquisitor Vladimir Orlov of the Yonovich Empire call upon, mm, let's go with somebody who has it, um, King Red Ragnar for uh, impromptu performances he sees fit. Um, try it again, maybe. Maybe you got up too quickly. Paralyzed by stage fright. Oh, a terrible thing. I sat in each one of these chairs. There must be something weird going on. Well, don't take too much, my friend. That's just a sample. <laughs> Do you need me to move the, uh, the, the table a little bit? Nope. Well, that's why I offered to move it. I, I knew you were sitting at the moment.
Oh, liquor too strong. Yes, my friend, liquor too strong. Um, Empress Yanovich, would you care to be an honorable performance? Um, I knew I could not, as in my power, call you to the stage, you see. Well, I couldn't call him, but he didn't know that. Let's give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. I keep your seat warm. <laughs> That's a good one. Laugh. There, yours. Before you sit, you need to accept your payment. You cannot come back here for your payment. You got to be on the other side. I gotta have some fun, you know. Whoops. You can spend it on bar. Right in that one is your payment. Empress Yanovitz, with you being the last person to... Oops, that wasn't me. Nobody saw me do it. With you being the last one up here... Who do you call to stage to put it on impromptu performance of sorts? I nominate King Ragnar. Oh, wonderful. Do it! <laughs> still not able to move. All right. Bresyanovich, will you nominate another person? I would like to hear from Thunder. One moment. <laughs> hey, no problem. We did kind of put you on the spot. Oh, so out of character kind of thingy. That whole skit thing started off with like a whose line is it anyway? And then... Um, the king over there took a little bit of time. So I was like, perfect, the Rexes. Rexes invade as their world crisis you needed to save. I 
suppose, uh, then this would be in honor of yourself. This was from a great poet from my Homer. Uh, so these words, uh, I did not write them, but I will do my best to give them justice. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, more lovely and more temperate? Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaf hath all too short a date. Soft the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, by chance, or nymphs untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, not lose possession of the fair thou owest. On this to his shade, when in eternal line, to time thou growest, so long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, gives life to thee. <laughs> there is a very moving uh, Commodore um, with you being the most recent person up here who do you want to have an impromptu performance well my good inquisitor since already I would nominate yourself. Oh, really? All right, I could do something. Let me think a moment. Um, the crowd this evening, is anyone particularly um, offendable at the moment? No? Good. One. Oh, I hope he has pants on when he comes back in. Why? Not why, I guess. I need a few more. I'll be right back. I'm in need of three volunteers. Ah, uh, you can move. Yes, that's so good. You'll be next. Wonderful. If you'll take your seats, just choose any old seats you like. This one doesn't have leg room. I will move it back. Wonderful. You guys have made this very interesting. Hee <laughs> hee. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the audiences, uh, let us say that we are on an um, one second. A diplodocus, and it is a little bit lopsided and hitting every tree it comes across and stubbing its toe on every 
itsy bitsy little compy and crying for help and whining and taking forever to get where it wants to go. Now, this simulates the sitting on the Diplodocus, you see? And it continuously goes to the left. Actually, come to think about it, let us see. Yes, I suppose that can work. Yes. All right. Now, I'm going to be the driver for this because I know the skit. Yes, you see. Kind of difficult to explain it to somebody else, you see. Yes. Now, I stop the Diplodocus and say, Hey, guys, we are going to the left all the time, stabbing every little compy, and it's whining and complaining and making me kill every single little thing. Stupid lights. All right, lights are done. I need... You good sir in the back to switch to the left side and you good sir up front to switch to the right side. Like opposite sides, you see. Most wonderful. We've evened out the weight and it's a bit more balanced. You see, let's go. And now we get home safely. And sound, you see, without stabbing ourselves on every little compy and every little bush and tree and rock and everything. We, we get home quick and safe, you see. Oh, it was funnier when my grandpa told it. Haha, <laughs> you got it, yes. Um... I did check to see if anybody would get offended first. <laughs> Most wonderful. Uh, if you see me at the bar, I'll have you payments. Commodore, you can't get double payments. You weren't even on stage. First up... Oh, my apologies. First up for payments. Next up for payments. Empress, would you care for a payment on this one? All right. Blasted thing. There. Let me clean up after myself. All right, um, King Ragnar, you saw this coming, you're up. All right, I suppose I will sing for you. Oh. A, B, C. <laughs> <laughs> Empire has 
Is there soldiers on the front lines with their fancy guns? As does the strange armada. One of the mere foot soldiers asks the commanding officer of the Empire what a common name is inside of a strange armada. And the commanding officer said, well, I guess John is about as common as you get. So the foot soldier yells over, Hey, Jean. This guy pops up. And he's immediately shot in the head and killed. A little while, the foot soldier pops up. Hey, Jean. This guy pops up and is immediately killed. After doing this for a few hours, the foot soldier goes on to what the Yanovich Empire is doing. And we'll say Squidman there asks his commanding officer what of a Empire name is. The commanding officer says, I guess that is about as common as you get. So Squid pops up and says, Hey Vlad. Nothing. Hey Vlad. Hey Vlad. One of the Yanovich Empire people pops up and says, Is that you, Jean? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, King R- R- Rathka? Regna? Batman. King Batman, I guess. You were last on stage. Who do you call to stage? Batman. Oh, that's who he calls? You're up. Bullzu? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. You guys weren't even on stage yet. Um, so, the night, who do you call to uh, perform? The Commodore it is. Well, all right then. Um, I suppose I can begin attempting pressure. Wait a moment, wait a minute. Wait. All right. If you can all uh, guess who I am, uh, are we ready? Yes. Qualify as my turn? Uh, no? It is yours until you say you are done. And then you know drill. You pick next person to go up on stage. We do this all night. Morning, we go out and continue the festivities. Oh, very well then. Um, I do believe uh, we should have a turn up here. Yeah, 
that you wish you had a textbook near by, huh? Um, <laughs> do I have any outstanding talent? You can hide behind bush and it makes you, you speak for somebody else. How about I just hide behind the bush and you call that my talent? No one ever knows anyway. Well, not me, bush, silly. <laughs> can always do what I did the first time. Uh, no, I have a very short song in mind, but it's incredibly stupid. That's okay, you could sing it. I believe in you. As far as I can tell, your your character has the straightest face as they come. <laughs> what do you do when your mom gets that pretty chitter and you left her feeling crappy? She nurses you nice and snappy, wash her in the bathtub. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, um, who do you has called to stage to perform? We do this till the sun comes up, or we go and mingle amongst ourselves till the sun comes up. It's not safe out there. Especially for what I prayed for. Yes, you see, my friends. Ha! <laughs> um, Vladimir, quick question for you. Yes, Commodore. I may have done that yes a time or two before, but I did not think anybody knew about it. Were you spying on me? No, no judgment. I just wanted to make sure we're putting down. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I think. Thank you very much. Lady Gida, who do you call to stage to perform? She was already up there. Just now, yes. That's why I was okay with everybody just going and mingling, and the VIP guests can go and mingle in their VIP room, but they might get bored with that. Do we need to pray to the gods to see if it might become day a little bit quicker? Yes. I forget. I must agree to that vote. Oh yes, it is day. The gods have blessed us. Ladies and gentlemen, other um, guests, whatever. Right this way. Do you guys have armor? Good. You all have armor. Do you all have weaponry? Um, I see you have a very big sword, yes. Yeah. 
You might want something a bit more clinky like that. You will see. You have weaponry and you have armor, yes? Good, good. Right this way. Oh, before we go, before we go, I forgot one thing. Before we go, mustn't go yet. Please, if you will, please uh, put one of these down or whatever that uh, in case the bad should happen. Three per person, but remember, clean up after yourself. Oh, it looks very promising. I can run and get it. Impetus, do you have three sleeping bags? Does everybody have three sleeping bags apiece? Yes. Wonderful. I think I'll put mine over here. Whoa. Oh, I've got you one. There. I think over here would be a very nice, safe location for said. Oh, perfect. Other people had idea. I will be right back, Lady Gita. I will get you some uh, plinky metal. That'll be hilarious. Oh, you guys don't know what I'm thinking, but you're going to laugh at it. Trust me. <laughs> mm, upstairs. Mm, building parts. Oh, underneath the chair. Yep, there we go. Clinky metal. What is so funny? Oh, by proxy of our little joke and stuff, we uh, <laughs> called Edward Batman. Yeah, but we also have role playing reasons to call him the knight. Or Batman, even. You can't skip ahead in the whole funds. Lady Gida, I have collected you some armor. Oh, not a problem. I will turn around whether you change.
Well, you change quickly. Very good. And in front of these other guys who are watching. Interesting. Now, I have brought Squirt along for backup. Let us go this way. If you follow me, yes, please follow me. Well, first, which kingdom wishes to go first? Go first and going first. Where is the king anyway? Sir Edwin and I will gladly represent Queen Victoria. Oh, wonderful. If you all follow me this way. All right. Now. I have prayed to gods, these are only for killing, no taming. They will smite you dead if you ki tame them. Kill them only, and kill them all you must. Now, for safety reasons, those who are not at turn to fight, stay back here. Those who are at turn to fight, marches up, picks a door, and puts in code 1123. I will stay on Squirt. If you need help, run back to the people and Squirt will kill them all. Kill them dead, he will. You must open door. Hey, you must open door. Open door. Open door. They were, they were outside of the door. They were not. I've asked the gods to bless a, a little place. Open door. You choose the other ones. You've already killed some. All right. Open door, face the mob, and destroy them. Oh, sir, sir, not this one. Just one. Oh no, SS has arrived. Code. I guess you can come closer if you wish. Perfect. You can loot the bodies if you wish. Bodies are free for looting. King uh, Ludbrook, your, yours is right here. Oh, my Empress, um, we take this one here. They killed some of ours, but we okay. They learn the rules for next one. Oh. You uh, you use gun, I kill with sword. I got shield. See? Oh, let me ensure code is in proper. Code is in proper. Wow, the massacre! Impression of it, you ready? I kill him dead. Originally, we had a target as part of the course. Do you guys want to go to that part or towards more of the in game part? Lady Gida, how long do you have? Uh, shooting then. We go shooting. Right this way, friends. Right this way. Squirt will be okay. Uh, 
Red. Red here. What are the other ones? Well, nonetheless, we must do this one at a time. You run and jump up on that. Like so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There is a box. I don't know not to, if you want to open it, but there is a box. <laughs> I said there is a box. Right. Wait, 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 wait. We do this with bows as our ancestors did. We are on the ruins. Right in this chest. If you please grab one bow, we'll go in teams, teams of empires. So, first it was the Les Stranges. Do you wish to go first again? Uh, sure. Alright, so there are three targets out there. The one to use, let's go with five arrows. Each person, so 10 arrows in total. Their scores match, make their team. Ready? Begin when you're ready, unless you have questions. Okay. Yeah, five shots each. Yes, five shots each to make it nice and quick. We must not burn too much daylight. Three targets must hit each one. Or uh, try to, anyway. That is a hit for 32. Oh, that is a miss for 32 meters. My apologies. The arrows drop as they go further. They drop. You can go with just one. We'll go with just one. You can just shoot one over and over if you want. Or match a man and shoot them all. A miss from 39 meters though. I miss though. Sorry. Ipiris, it looks like we are next, yes? I saw you with your bow out. I was getting ready. All right. Five shots for you. Five shots for me. Oh, you must have the bow in your main inventory sections. And then it'll work. That is a hit for 36 points. I hit something, but not the target. Ooh, that is another one. Just a little bit above, not too much. I can't see it. We, I will not count that one. That is um, that is actually over. I I forfeited myself. I went over. My apologies. It looks like uh, King Ragnar and his, uh, his lady are up next. Sorry, Empress, I almost had us a winning lead there, but I accidentally used one too many arrows.
Oh, that is a hit. It looks like 48 points. It is your next target, sir. Oh. Even if they miss the rest of their shots, they win. They have the only ones to have points without disqualifying themselves, unless they disqualify themselves. In which case, they'll a strange win, because they did not disqualify themselves. I am sorry, Empress. It is my fault. Alrighty, if you would like, you can shoot it with the, the bullets, but um, we continue on with tour, and <coughs> and then the final thing. Looks like that was a miss. I did not see the markers. Maybe these only recognize arrows. Ooh, I see it has taken damage. Alrighty, on with tour. We make this quick. Would you guys like a few extra moments to wander around the first tier of tour? Hop, oh, overweight. You guys go first. Thank you. All right, my friends, uh, we are ready for the next elevated trip up. We'll make this quick, yes, as quick as we can anyway. We have one more main event to kill. It took a lot of praying from gods. This is uh, the the beginnings of the Yanovich Empire. It is uh, everybody lived in wood and thatch. You see, nobody knew of this mysterious crystal to make nice glass. You see, except for elevator. They always knew about elevator. Don't ask me. Right over here. This is the forager's hut. Be careful. Do not fall off. It is a very long ways down. Nothing in this house. Being the forager, you would jump off, forage, come back up, share the wealth. And have a little farm. Perfect, I am thirsty. Next up is the water tower. It is a functioning water tower, no cheats in it. It is all the rainwater. water. 
I have unlocked it. You see here, there's not much, but it's a little covering so people can eat their foods in peace. Right over here, we have a blacksmith home. Because, you know, everybody needs a good blacksmith in their life. They are unlocked. You should be able to open them. It is a little bit different of a building, but it is very quaint. They didn't know much back then. And we have the wealthiest person here. We have the pig farmer. And there's actually something for you to see in here. They also take care of animals, so they have food troughs for them. It is on manual. That is good and quite annoying. See, <coughs> if you don't mind <coughs> the, no, the smell down here, <coughs> then you will see why he is the most wealthiest person around. <gasps> Oh, he dealt it. And we have his actual home because who would want to live with that smell, you see? Very quaint, you see. Oops, wrong way. We go this way. This way is quickest. We have very small meeting room with a little torch up there for the chieftains to say tribe is spoken, blow torch out, meeting adjourned. We go in the basement, the, the underneath side. Where did you guys go? Ah, yes. We go in here. This is Chieftain's porch, backyard, secret place, whatever, to watch over the pig farmer, make sure he taxes accordingly. And then we have home for our Chieftain. Much more spacious, you see. That way he can store the valuables and ensure their safety. On with tour. Whoever was on the first elevator ride, hop on now, please, and uh, begin ascending. One of them is very hefty. I think I called it in my skit. It was the, uh, the the knight. He was the hefty one, and the scale says so. So I do not lie. And now, oh, thank you. I appreciate the compliment, but I do not swing that way. You see here, we go to the next stage of development. 
there we are. Up we go. Do not slip off. It is. It does hurt. Trust me. Oh, and do not stand in the the corners there. I've done that a time or two. All right, up we go. Oh, this other side. All right, all right. Then we have the bunker. Little bit more intricate. Ah, down to the door. And a nice view, if you say so myself. I could have been up here feel, as video, viewing the game we had down there, as well as the slaughter of innocent birds. Silly colonels. This one is the bunker. It is designed for uh, being underground and not letting things get spoiled. Right this way. Yes, this is an illustration, my friend. This is the apothecary. This is where the weird people live, like myself. I have places for my garden, wash my hands outside in the rain, cooking pot, all sorts of things. And this one's a bit more of an interesting insight. Please, come on in. We go up first, because then it, we just fall down, you see? Gravity takes the work. It is very quaint and very intriguing a, a build, if I say so myself. I staggered the lights so that it wouldn't be too bright in here. And then I have windows that I can look at everybody and laugh as they run past my front gate. And then a quaint little first floor as well. With a patio that I might laugh at people trying to get into the kingdom. Ha! You also see down there is the Yanovit Bridge, which gets you safely across the swamp on foot, especially. I used it myself. All right, we go out. Next, we go to probably your favorite place. It take a long time to recreate the uh, Empress's uh, childhood, the growing up areas. You see, this, as you see from the sign, is the vineyard and the brewery. Or you could just see that there's a brewery right over here. You see. Did I do anything special here? Oh yes, I made a cellar in here. Downstairs is the cellar to age the wine. Not the beer. Beer's for drinking, wine's for aging. See, no windows. You might see some cobwebs in the corner. I hope you're not scared of spiders. All right. Next, we go to an unfortunate area. The graveyard. Currently, no occupants, which is good. And then, the vineyard provides the wine for the church, which you see there. We'll go into it shortly. And then we have nice, uh, tranquil sitting place, staring at snails or 
the, uh, the tree, as I say. Be careful which tree you use the restroom on. Mind that for the next platform. Next, we go to church. Ha <laughs> I take you guys to church. Whoops. You're welcome to view from the front if you wish then. We've even got pews for people to sit in and uh, view the sermon, listening and praying. These windows took forever, trust me, forever. Forever with an ever at the end of it. All right, do you know what to wish? Oh, and Commodore, if you uh, stand... Oh, no, 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 let's not go Commodore. Um, oh, he definitely needs to step in here. The knight, if you please. If you please uh, step in and demonstrate this room for me. You'll be pleasantly surprised, I promise. Right in here. Commodore, if you were uh, for the uh, wonderful surprise, if you come with me. If you step in here. Hope I gotta step in with you and open the window. There you go. <laughs> if you two are done, I will let you out. Very well, thank you, sir. There we are. Now the, the first people on the elevator, on elevator again. That was funny, yes? You were supposed to stay up there. <laughs> it was not me. Let us... Oops, I must wait. Four hundred pounds. Shoo. Yes. They say it is good to about seven hundred pounds. Tops. Oh, wait. We are missing one. But we are missing one. Why do they need that up there when we are all done here? Is everything all right? Oh, all right. Maybe uh, to be continued later. My apologies. Uh, King Ragnar, do you have time to continue or would you need to uh, head back home as well? I believe I can 
All righty. I will give you a moment if you needed to kiss her goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I would not say that so soon. We have uh, dangerous critters around. Better back, my friends. Alrighty, my friends. As you have heard, I am back. Hey, that is my empress. Man. Right up here. Alright, and as you see, we are pretty well advanced when we get here. It is still a little bit work in progress, but it takes quite some time, you see. We have over here, whoops, manual, whoops, manual. Oh, beforehand, if you would please jump up here. And if you would please jump in here, please. You forgot to jump in. Well, um, I make it a purpose uh, point to voluntarily jump into a dungeon or a jail. Ta. All right then. You caught me. You caught me. You see, the jail here, it is not meant to be very comfortable. You get rain down every night. If no rain, I make rain. So, no be jail person in here, you see. If you'd like, you can look. I won't close the door. And over here is a very special room. Now, when I have questions, I take you into this room. If you see you would like you can have a seat I I won't question you I promise <laughs> see it has restraints quite a relaxing chair, but quite comfortable. you don't get too comfortable because that is when the work comes out you see on with tour One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, rats. Ah. Perfect. This is the tannery. This person lives here, makes the hide, makes the leather, makes the 
nice comfy clothes and you got to see the the next floor that's very quaint with a nice roof you see and an even improved way down right over here you see being this advanced now we know that there was no need for a bunker we were safe we get to laugh at the person living in the bunker over there we point and laugh all day long he keeps saying it's gonna come but we laugh Plastic doors. Are you okay, my friend? I'll give you a hug for free. No. Alright, I try. One, two, three. Perfect, right this way. Nearing end of tour. Unless you wish to see other pre buildings we've built, but that's okay. Right over here, my friends. Right, right on this. Maybe we can take you too. Maybe. Well, let's try. Alright. I got an idea, my friends. I'll see you at the bottom. Welcome, my friends, to the, uh, the Wild Daisy. Now, in here is a grand kitchen let me let let me there we go grand kitchen you see grand kitchen in here yes we have got place to make recipes we have got place to preserve food and make jerky we have got place to cook meat we have got place for beer. We have got place for wine. We have got all you need up here. Yes, we do it indeed. And if you notice, it is in the same pattern as a royal flower, which is the wild daisy. You see, very impressive, yes? Yes, very nice. And the roof on this was a son of a gun. Nearly made me want to curse more than that. Oh. Excuse me. We go this way. I mustn't let the flies in. All right, uh, we go up now. I will see you at the top, my friends. <laughs> Bet they're wondering how I'm going to get there, huh? Wow! Impress, you have arrived back. I have just shown them the uh, wild daisy, our royal flower. We were going to be viewing it from the top over here. See? Looks like it. I will not push, I promise. Very Very nice. Well, thank you. This is the end of the, uh, the tour, as it were. The rest of it is uh, not for viewing, you see. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Let's go this way. Oh, nearly forgot. Where my griffin is will eventually be the market. I just haven't figured out how to put it in place. Uh. 
All righty. We'll continue on down, my friends. Would you like me to bring the elevator back up for us? No, I don't think so. All right. And right here is the final elevator down. All right, you guys ready for the last thing I prayed for? Now remember, these are contained. Oh, that's an awesome thing for a squirt to do. Very awesome indeed. I must go get him, you see. Now, the oh, we need it so that we are safe, you see. Um, the next thing I prayed for is contained inside an area. I've asked for an invisible wall, and the gods have uh, foreseen to bless me with such a thing. So you must open the gate, and you must go inside and face your beast. King, are you okay um, defeating yours by yourself, or would you like me inside to assist you? I knew you would say that. Let me go grab Squirt just in case. All right, my friends. Oh dear, it's nearly night. Let us make a haste. Right this way, my friends. Right this way. Whoops. One moment, one moment. King Ragnar. King Ragnar. Right over here. You choose your first demon. Well, you choose your demon. You you are the first one to choose demon. You go kill one demon. Yes, we all watch. We don't laugh much. Uh, just different in color. We are more or less safe in the middle, but remember, get inside and kill it face to face like a man. Questioning my body. Oh no, just making sure everybody knows to go inside and face it. It needs to have a fair chance. Is this the one you choose? Yes. Code is one 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 one. These are my friends. Go away, bear. Oh, 
Oh, this will be awesome. That was a weird Rex, you see. But fair kill, my friend, fair kill. You may take anything it has or meat or whatever. I do not mind. A Commodore. Is this the one you have chosen? This one's code is two, 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 two. Roar! Maha! <laughs> Empress, you ready? Wonderful! Next time I should pray for tougher creatures if the gods would be so kind again. I go first, I be your shield. You ready? It is very strange. Maybe they have become docile by being encaged. Oh, Empress, he has arms only for you. That may be the case, yes. I will uh, ponder about it and pray to the gods and sacrifice more gold to the gods. Thank you all for being part of the gold sacrifice. Oh no, the gold! The gold, I paid everybody the required amount. Yes. Maybe the gold price would be higher than I have to pay. Who knows? But I will pay it. I will have some fun for my guests. My friends, yes? My friends? Yes, quite. Perfect. My friend? I believe so. Perfect. My friend? Perfect. My Empress, yes. All right. That is all of the festivities I had planned for this evening. If we need to, we can go back to tavern, wait for a day. Um, or we can, uh, I don't know, do some other things. I do, do, up to you guys. Back to the tavern this way. Sorry, I have no light. Tavern, you see? Don't forget your beds. It is a good thing that we did not need them. Makes me feel better. You may keep them if you'd like. In case you're out on a hunting trip and need a spare bed. Oh, not the problem. Are these ones, um, what's that? Oh, no, Shoo, pesky birds. You may keep the resources if you like. We have a pretty good sized warehouse.
All right, I will keep them. And he burnt it as a sacrifice, I see. Interesting. Let's go inside the other of the rain. Yes, I would check the raven. All right. Uh, I believe that. Hmm. Oh, very well then. Move away. Oh yes, I was at the keep, and on tables. No pooping on tables, or stage. Usual hospitality things. Uh, Commodore, you have paid for the evening up in the VIP room. Would you like me to bring you and any guests you wish to invite up there? Some beverages and some perhaps. Food? Certainly. Why don't we all retire up there then? Oh, that is very kind of you. Uh, King uh, Ragnar, if you uh, go up the steps, they should open the door for you. Empress, I will bring some food if you like. That way you don't have to be serving. I, I do not mind. Blast it. I've moved the uh, the chest again and I forgot where. Um I'll be right back. All right, then. For sanity's sake, right here, I'll be storing the foods for everybody. I thought to start everybody off with a nice, simple fish sandwich. One, two, three, four, and five for myself. It is locked, my friend. Oh, yes. I was testing to see if anybody would at least try. I'm glad you tried to try the food. Um, uh, the Empress has tire worked tirelessly on this. The fish you see, we caught from down below. And uh, we, we cooked it up on the barbie. And uh, had quite a nice uh, enjoyment out of it. It is quite delicious. Thank you. 
Well, not a problem. Anybody else would like some fish? My actual serving skills are a little bit rusty. I tend to slip and it falls on the floor. And I don't think you want to try the five second rule. As this is uh, a bit invisible, you have to be in good favor with the gods to stay up. And the food may not be in good favor and they might fall down to the ground. And then they might feed more fish. And then they will be cannibals because they eat fish. Fish is eating fishes, you know. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, would any of the other royalties, like uh, Commodore, Yusuf, you paid for the room, would you like to sit in this nice chair? I did not want to take a chair from the guest who pays, you see. Yes, indeed. Uh, hello, sir. Very well, thank you. Oh, R quite comfortable, yes. Perfect. Hello, sir. C uh, King Ragnar. If you would like, we've got some fish in here. Um, fish sandwiches. We caught them from the lake below. Fried them up on a barbie. Oh. You might try some sandwiches. We'll get very tired. Hehe. <laughs> Empress, um, would you like one? I'll bring it to you as best I can, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, not the problem. And then our next course of meal, if everybody's ready. Oh, delicious. Has everybody enjoyed their fish sandwich if they wanted one? Perfect. I'll take them back and put them in storage. Next, you need something to wash it down with, yes? We've got some dragon's ale and some knight's blood. Sorry, the knight. You want to have your choice of which one you want to drink or drink both? I don't care. Anybody else want something to drink and uh, wash down this uh, this fish sandwich the proper way? Oh, this is tasty. To our gracious host, thank you for having us and Vladimir. Everything that you've done here, all of this. I can see you put your very heart and soul into it, and you should be proud. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And next up, I figure you washed down the foods. Now you need some more food in your belly. Here's a nice vil venison sandwich. It is of the venison variety, like a moose. We, uh, I had to run them down myself and, and spear them as to not damage the meats, but also not uh, have to drag them off from all over. Or let Squirt enjoy some. Sheesh. He is greedy sometimes. Oh, there. I'm back. And next, I figure maybe some more something nice to drink. And this one is some wine. Because we're at the classy dinner, you see. We need wine to drink. I will find another way to uh, serve the guests. And then, guess what? There's dessert. You guessed it, the best cake in the world is the uh, the Death by Chocolate Cake cake. Wonderful, thank you so much. Oh, 
It is my pleasure. You paid for the room. You get uh, the benefits. And while it is evening, you can even enjoy the lights show from a comfortable chair over here. A bit more of a VIP lounge, you see. Is royalty on one sofa and then the other else over here? Well, thank you, but I cannot take credit for that. That is Empress. She is a very genius person when it comes to decorating. Have you seen our gardens? Oh, yes, actually. I did wander in there when I arrived here originally. That's tickets for the location of the tavern. But, uh, yes, it's marvelous in there. Very well done. Oh, thank you. Have you seen it at night? It's very spooky. It's not, no. Ah. Soon I will have my view completed at Noble Britannia, and then I will issue an invite for everyone to come and see it. Oh, I did see once progress update there. It's very nice. Oh, yes, you did come and see it. Yes, when you, when you purchased the uh, cannery rack and the uh, barber chairs. Yes. Yes, indeed. Before you go, I must talk to you um, secretively, as it were. Oh, yes, of course. I shall uh, study my notes first. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got to do some. Uh... Oh, that's an eye. Deck, nebit. Oh, how many F's are in there, anyway? Sheesh. Right there. Sorry, you guys don't get to hear anything that's going... Oh, excuse me, going on. Oh, that is because it is a new day. I'll open the door for you. See, codes automatically reset. What a magnificent time. I'm glad you all made it here. And we're able to enjoy the uh, the performances set upon by people. Oh, of course, very nice. Thank you for having us. Oh, not the problem. Come here, you chicken. All right, um, Commodore, if we go find Squirt, he has it for us. All right, you then, Squirt. Are you ready to perform magic trick for Commodore himself? 
Uh, yes, perfect. Let's get you into some sunlight so we know you're not hiding tricks. All right. So you say abracadabra, alakazam. Roses are red, same as my claws. Violets are blue, same as Her Majesty's armor. One, two, and about ready. Uh, admin and business, they start at 60. Play them. It didn't work, huh? All right, we try it again. Roses are red, same as my claws. Violets are blue, same as Her Majesty's armor. Or one, two, abracadabra. Most impressive, my friend. It is a good trick, yes. Uh, yes, I, I understand that uh, yours is uh, vanished. Dear, if you end up finding your other one, one of them must go. Of course. Yes, I, I knew you would understand that. Squirt only has so many uh, magic tricks, you see. And uh, if you don't, if you want, I can try and uh, make it colored a little bit. All right. They actually come out with kind of a nice looking color as it is. With the wings and all. Yes, it's quite nice. Thank you for everyone. Not the problem. Safe travels, my friend. I realized I was muted this whole time. What did you think of my little poem? It was very good. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to copy your poem you did on stage. You've had issues with stuff.
so funny. <laughs> eat, sleep, and like just tell myself, make it home. So I'll go when she make it home and she says. If you want, you can crash in her guest storage spot. <laughs> and I'm really quick at this. We don't live that far apart by air at all. I'm already home and logging out. I don't have the expansion for Savage. I didn't know we needed that to do a lot of the ladder stuff for me. Oh, no, I didn't need that either. But my cousins were telling me. I told them that, like, I bought it, played it through once, wasn't that impressed. Like, Diablo 2 was way better. So I never touched it again. And they said, well, do you have the expansion? I was like, no. But I can get the expansion. It's a lot better. Let me, I'll check. I would have to start almost over again. I only got through it. I have no problem with run, rushing people through stuff. I think I got... Oh. Take care, my friends. Have a good night. <laughs>